Hi, I'm Chris Wallace from Walnut Hollow and today we're going to talk about clock making. Clock making is a big category for Walnut Hollow and we do a lot of product development and bring a lot of clock making techniques and pieces to the crafting world. These are uh, clocks that we make that come with a hole already drilled in them. Um, we already also have several different kinds of clock movements. Some come just with hands, hands and numbers. We have um, pendulum movements. We also sell hands and clock faces and numbers separately. And the main thing that you want to remember when you're making any kind of a clock is to think about the uh, movement that you're going to be using because we have some movements that are quarter inch, some three eighths of an inch, and some three quarters of an inch. So it depends on the thickness of your wood as to which of the three uh, sizes of shaft you're going to need for your clock. If you are making your own clock, we have kinds of wood surfaces that can be used. You can drill your own hole in any of these surfaces and I've even made clocks um, with the top of a box. So you just need to drill into the surface of the wood or you can make a clock out of anything. We've used Wilton cake pans. You can use a straw hat. There's all kinds of things that you can use. You just want to make sure that you use a 3 8 inch drill bit and that's what this is. So um, anything can be turned into a clock. You just need to drill your hole if you don't already, if you don't buy a, a piece of wood that has a, a hole already in it. On the back of your package, any of these packages, you have instructions to put a clock together and I thought that today we should actually do one. <clears throat> so if I purchase this three-piece kit that has the clock movement hands and numbers in it and open up the package, I would remove all of these things off of the shaft. Now the reason why I have this particular length of shaft is because my clock um, surface is three quarters of an inch thick so I know that this shaft is going to fit. So let's take everything off here and before I put the movement into the back of the clock I'll have the rubber washer on here and then slip it into the surface and just lay it on a fat flat surface so you're ready to um, to work and then place the washer down first and then you have a hex nut and you just start screwing that on and then once I get it down I always use pliers to finish tightening it so it's nice and snug to the clock surface then you have your, this is your hour hand and your minute hand and your second hand. The first hand that goes down is the hour hand. And so I put it onto the shaft itself and then with my thumbs I press down to make it on there as tight as I can. Then you take the hour hand I mean the minute hand, and the minute hand has, um, it's not just a regular circle on there, there are two flat sides. So you find the place where it fits onto the shaft itself and take this other little, it's a little minute nut, it's called. So you screw that on. So once I get it started, then I'll take my pliers and again I want to 
make it nice and tight on there so that it's not going to go anywhere. Just tighten it with one turn so it's snug. And then the last thing you do is you take this little piece on the back of the second hand and put it over the entire thing and just press it down with your thumb. So that's how you put all the parts together to make your own um, clock movement onto your wood surface and then you're ready to do the numbers. The numbers are adhesive on the back so all you have to do is snap them off of the um, little bar and when you put them onto the surface after your clock is already decorated then press it down and they'll be nice and snug and you can put all the numbers on the clock. So that's all about clock making here at Walnut Hollow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.